Simple esters can be produced in the laboratory through a process called reflux. Esters are produced when we add an alkanoic acid to an alkanol and let the reaction occur. Unfortunately, this esterification process would usually take a really, really, really long time. Now, usually when we want to speed up a reaction, we just heat it up. But we can't do that very easily in this process for two key reasons. Firstly, if we use an open flame, alkanols are very flammable, so there's a high likelihood that we'll set our lab on fire. The second problem is that alkanols have an extremely low boiling point. So if we were to heat up the solution, all that would happen is that our reactants would evaporate and disappear. And of course, no reaction will occur. So this process of reflux is really, really key to allowing us to produce esters efficiently and quickly. There are a number of key components to esters. First of all, instead of using an open flame, we use a heat bath in which we heat up a bowl of water and put our round bottom flask in that water to reduce the risk of flame. Secondly, we use a thing called a condenser, which we attach to the top of our round bottom flask. The condenser runs cool water through the system so that when the alkanol evaporates and goes upwards, it gets cooled back down by the condenser and goes back into its liquid form so that it continue to react. We have little glass beads in the bottom of the round bottom flask, which ensures that we have an even boil. And we use a concentrated sulfuric acid solution as a catalyst, which reduces the activation energy of the process. All of these things make the reaction much, much more quick and allow us to be able to watch it occur in the lab. You'll more than likely do this experiment and understanding the safety requirements for it is extremely crucial to the HSC. You'll often get asked specific questions on it, so make sure that you understand both the procedure and the safety requirements for this experiment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more.